Hello, uh, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about AMI. AMI is Amazon Machine Image. So, I'm not covering a detailed theory in this demo. Uh, this is basically intended for the uh, AMI creation. So, basically, I'm going to cover a uh, uh, few things here. First, I'm going to create an EC2 instance uh, and I will install a web server in this EC2 instance. Uh, because I have to validate something and then I will create an AMI from this EC2 instance and then uh, after the AMI creation I will talk about uh, different options available with the uh, AMI um, so and then I will create an EC2 instance from the AMI created earlier okay so I will also talk about uh, something related to AMI uh, why should we use AMI and some important points which will help you uh, for your certification um, uh, when you are create one when you're handling with the AMI what are the steps or what are the important points that you need to know if you are doing a cross account copy so we'll discuss about that okay so let's go into the console and uh, do all these uh, step by step okay so I am into my Amazon console. Now I'm going to create one EC2 instance first. Okay. So instances, launch instance, Amazon Linux 2, T2 micro. I'll keep all the values as default, but I'm going to use my user data here to create a web server because I'm creating this web server for my validation later okay now add storage I'll keep the same no tags security group I'm going to use the security group which has uh, port 80 and port 22 open okay so make sure that the port 80 is open in, your, in the security group so that uh, you should be able to access the web server and then review and launch I'm going to use the existing key pair. Okay. So my instance is about to create. It is now in pending state, and this instance will have a web server. Okay. So we're going to access the public IP. Public IP of uh, the server, and see if I'm able to access this. So I think it takes some time to create my web server. Let's see if I can access in a different browser. Okay, so we have to wait. The web server is still not ready. So we can actually keep refreshing the page. Okay, so my web server is up and running, so I'm able to access this page. Okay, this is a web page that I created as part of uh, the web server creation. Okay, now my uh, web server is up and running on this EC2 instance. Now let me go to the instances and let me name it as uh, EC2 instance. Okay, so this is my first EC2 instance with a web server. Now I'm going to create an AMI from this EC2 instance and then I will talk about something related to the different options available for that AMI okay so for me to create an EC AMI from the EC2 instance uh, select the EC2 instance and then right click 
and go to the image and templates okay so this is the option and then choose the option create image so here you have to give uh, a name for this so this is ec2 ami this is uh, ami created from ec2 and then i'll keep all the other values same and then create image okay now here it is the hyperlink that takes me to the image creation so at this point of time we are trying to create an ami from the ec2 instance okay so the ec2 instance uh, the ami creation uh, will take some time uh, it is not it it, it sometimes takes 5 to 10 minutes time. So I'm going to pause my video here. So when the AMI is successfully created, uh, I will resume and we will start our demo. Okay, so uh, welcome back. Uh, now my AMI is ready. Uh, you can see the status here as uh, available. Now this AMI is created from the EC2 instance. Now what happened here is when AMA is created, it actually creates a snapshot of the um, the uh, block volume that is attached to the EC2 instance. So let me show you what I mean by that. If you go to the volumes, this is the volume that is attached to my um, EC2 instance, which is created earlier. So when the AMA is created, this AMA, it creates a snapshot for the EB2, for the EC2, uh, block volume so you can confirm that by uh, snapshot id if you see the snapshot id here it matches with uh, the the block volume that is uh, that block that is assigned to this ama instance okay so basically the ama is a snapshot that is created from the uh, ec2 block volume now on the ama we can perform various activities. So if you right click on this, we see various options that can be performed on the AMA. Not, uh, we're not talking about all these options, but uh, uh, I would, I'm trying to concentrate on few options which are helpful for you to actually practice this demo. Okay, so the, the first option is launch. So you can create an EC2 instance from this AMA, okay, that we are going to uh, do it very soon. And the next option is a spot instance. So when you click spot instance, it actually uh, creates uh, a request uh, to create a spot instance for you uh, using the AMI uh, that is built from the EC2 instance. So uh, I'm not going to create any spot instance now. Okay, now the third option is the something that I'm going to use uh, at the end of this demo to show you what does it mean by deregister. Okay, so don't worry about the register and UMI, that is altogether different uh, uh, from this demo. Now, copy AMI. So, if you want to choose this option, you can actually copy this AMI to any other uh, availability zone or any other region as well. So, there are uh, options given to you here that you can copy your AMI to any different region. Okay, so you can just specify the name here and if you would like to encrypt that AMI while you are creating or copying that to a different region, you can do the encryption here. Okay, so I'm just showing this option is available. I'm not copying anything now. Now the next option is uh, modify image permissions. Okay. So there are two options here. One is public and private. Let me first talk about private and then I will come to the public option. So when you choose the private option here, you got the option where you can specify an account here and you can add permission to that account. So for your AMI, uh, you are giving a permission uh, for a different account to copy your AMI instance, okay? So there is another checkbox here. You, add create volume so when you select this option while you are giving permission to a different account the target account will get the access to copy the ami instead of creating the instance 
but if you do not choose this option the target account they can just create an instance ec2 instance from your ami but if you choose this option the target account they can even copy the ami that you have created in your account so that means for some third party account you are giving a control or you can uh, you can you can you can actually restrict them uh, copying your ami but they can create an ec2 instance but once they create an ec2 instance from the ami they can further create ama from that ec2 instance so that is different story so this option will control how you can um, uh, how the target uh, account uh, is able to create their instance so you can specify any account let's say if i say here it will throw some error but i'm just uh, throwing okay so if the account is not valid it will throw the account is not valid okay so that is about uh, the private permission so if you specify the public and if you save it the image that you have created here it is accessible as a public and anyone can access this ami to create uh, uh, their ec2 instances okay so if you choose a public that you mean you are giving a public access to your ami instance and anyone can access your ami if you choose private it is only restricted to the accounts uh, for which you have given permission to copy okay and then i'm not talking about edit tax because it just uh, uh, you can add uh, some tax to your ami and the next two options are altogether different i'm not talking about those two okay so we have discussed some options available here on ami now let me go ahead and create an ec2 instance from this ami okay so launch instance okay and then here i'm going to choose the type of the instance which is a t2 micro i'm going to choose the same thing okay so i'm going to keep uh, all the default options but if you want to choose uh, the different uh, vpc you can choose a different vpc and remember that i'm not using any user data here uh, because when i'm creating ec2 instance for the first time i used a web server code but here i'm not using any uh, code to create my web server okay so i'm now launching to the next step okay so uh, note that the snapshot that uh, is used to create this ec2 instance is the snapshot that is created from the uh, ec2 instance while creating the ami okay so no tax configure security group so here i'm choosing the existing security group so that i have access to port 80 and 22 launch and i'm going to use the existing key pair okay so what i am doing here is i created an ec2 instance from the ami but that ami is created from an ec2 instance that is created earlier when we started our demo okay so now this instance ami is up and running if you see it took a very less time compared to the first time when i was creating ec2 instance okay now from this instance uh, i should be able to access my web server which is created uh, as part of the initial EC2 instance creation. Now I'm going to access this uh, public IP. Okay. So using the public IP assigned for my second EC2 instance, I'm able to access the web server. Now let me go back to the console and access the first instance and this is the public IP for the first instance. Uh, make sure that, uh, I mean, uh, note that uh, this IP is different from the IP that I have already accessed. Okay, I'm copying this. Okay, so these two IPs are different. 
and these two are different EC2 instances. So the first EC2 instance is created manually and the second EC2 instance which is uh, EC2 from AMI. So this EC2 instance is created from my AMI. Okay? So when I create an AMI, it got all the software stack that is installed as part of EC2 because we created an image from that EC2 instance. Now for those who are actually watching this video, I have a question here. Um, if you know the answer, you can post your comments uh, here in the below. Uh, what is the difference between user data or creating an EC2 instance from AMI? Okay, my question is, so you created an EC2 instance, the first EC2 instance using a user data where you created a web server. And the second EC2 instance is created from AMI and what is the difference between these two processes? Why should we in, why should we use an AMI? Why should we use a user data? Okay, so if you know the answer, please uh, uh, comment your answers below. Uh, so I will respond to your um, answers. Okay, now uh, let's go back to the AMI. Okay. So as I mentioned here, uh, the snapshot uh, is created from the EC2 block volume and let me see what are the volumes that I have created here. Okay, So if you see here, there are two uh, block volumes and uh, if you see the snapshot here, so this one is actually matching with the snapshot of the AMI and it also uh, the snapshot of the AMI and it also matches with the snapshot that is created from the AMI. Okay, So now, now as part of this demo what we have done we have created an EC2 instance with web server, we created an AMI from the EC2 instance and then we created a second EC2 instance from the AMI and we proved that whatever software that is installed in the first EC2 instance is uh, also available in the second EC2 instance. Okay. Now as I mentioned earlier uh, with AMI, let me further discuss about uh, the final option available here. Okay. So if you want to deregister or if you want to remove this uh, AMI. Uh, for further um, for any further EC2 instance creation, you can use deregister. So when you use deregister, it will ask you you want to deregister de these images. Okay. So if you do this one, okay, I'm continuing so that uh, it will remove my AMI from the list. So I do not have any AMI listed here now. But if you go back to the volumes the EC2 block volumes, my block volumes are available because my EC2 instances are still up and running and if I go back to the snapshots, the snapshot is still available. So the snapshot is not deleted. Now what I can do is now I can actually create an, EC, the, an AMI from the snapshot that is available here. Okay, So here use uh, take the snapshot and create AMI. Okay, Now here I can specify as AMI from snapshot, okay. So some description, and then use create, okay. Now if you go to AMI again, now the AMI is available, okay. Now we have seen a different option that we can create a AMI from the snapshot available in your account, okay. Now, so that's all about uh, AMI. So before I uh, end this demo, I would like to also mention that whenever you are creating any EC2 instance, any launch EC2 instance, the options that you see here while you're selecting your image, so these are also an AMI images. So the there are some pre-built AMIs available in uh, Amazon console and you are using those AMIs to create your EC2 instance. So one important keynote that you need to understand here is, 
e, the AMI that is available here, you can launch your EC2 instance from this AMI. You cannot copy this AMI to have another AMI in your account. So you must have to create an EC2 instance from this AMI. Then only you should be able to create an AMI from that EC2 instance. So that is the key point that you need to know. Okay. So hope uh, this gives you some um, uh, valuable information around AMI. And uh, if you know the answer for my question earlier, uh, please uh, post your answers in the comments. I will respond. And if you have any other questions on AMI, you can also uh, post your comments here. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And uh, please subscribe my channel if you need uh, any further updates on any further videos from me. Thanks for your valuable time here.